We're just going to bring in Justin Bardiarama, who is the Primate of South Sudan and also the Chair of the Global South Fellowship. Archbishop, thanks very much for coming to talk to us. Um, we, we last spoke when you were in rural Uganda on holidays. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> um, it's wonderful for, for us to have you make time for us in uh, what is a super busy conference for you. Um, uh, look, can we just start with the, uh, the pressures facing the Christian? Uh, uh, well, we've actually we've heard a lot of talk about the pressures facing the Christian in the West. What are the pressures facing the Christian in South Sudan? In South Sudan, the pressures facing Christians are mostly the violence, political violence that makes Christians to always be displaced from their place to another place. That is a real challenge for Christians. And uh, the other pressure, which is actually the prosperity gospel, where some evangelists come, preach because of, of the poverty and the other things, they just deceive that uh, being a Christian, you pray, you have to receive miracle, you have to receive uh, uh, money and the other luxurious thing. So that is another pressure that is facing Christians uh, in South Sudan and most part of Africa, of which we are standing strong, that the Bible teaches that you work, then you get. There is nothing free where you just claim a car, it comes, that is uh, not true. So those are some of the pressures. Okay, you, you, you are the chair for Global South, and uh, what would you like to ask, what has been the encouragement from GAFCON? This year. The encouragement we receive from GAFCON, GAFCON is gifted in mission, in enabling people renew their faith, that's something that gives us encouragement and gives us hope for the whole Anglican Communion. And we thank God for GAFCON. So what's been the excitements of the week for you? What have been the excitements of the week here this week for you? The excitement now coming together, meeting friends from all around the world, that is a great encouragement and excitement because it reminds me that I am not alone. There are still thousands of brothers and sisters around the world who are firm uh, in their gospel. We were just talking to James Wong a moment ago and he said one of the thrills for him has been the sense of genuinely walking together with other brothers and sisters um, uh, in Christ. Sure. That is uh, strength. That is great encouragement as we walk together. And then you are encouraged that on this journey I'm not alone. I still have brothers and sisters who are rooted in the world and who have decided to work uh, along the path of uh, scriptures. So, what, what, what do you see in the future between the GAFCON and the Global South? GAFCON and Global South are two institutions that uh, overlap in what they do. And uh, in the future, it is my hope and prayer that the two may become one. There was a, a moment in the, uh, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure you were in the primates meeting or the bishops meeting at the time, but in the, uh, the laity and clergy auditorium where we were yesterday afternoon, uh, when they were taking input ideas for the statement, one delegate from the floor said um, something similar to that. And there was big applause around the auditorium. And uh, Richard Condy, who was chairing the meeting, said, uh, look, I just want you to know I'm going to take that feedback back to the... Uh, to the primates and to the to the bishops group. Yeah. We are planning for that. We are dreaming that, and we are go moving towards that. And uh, it is all our prayer that we will see something new within the Anglican Communion in the nearest future. That's very Thanks. exciting, and thank you for coming and sharing that uh, that with us. Can I just come back to the local issues of Sudan? 
And uh, you were talking about the dangers of the prosperity gospel. And we were talking a little earlier with the uh, bishop theologian of Nigeria, and he was talking about the importance of theological education. And uh, how are you working on theological education in Sudan? Theological education is one of our priority because the standard of a student is reflects the quality of the teacher, those who teach the student. Mm. So we prioritize uh, the training of uh, our leaders, the Christian leaders, so that we deepen their theological understanding in order to tackle this uh, prosperity gospel and the other uh, unbiblical uh, gospels or interpretations that are going around. As the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, we have the main provincial uh, training institution that Bishop Green School of Theology, of which we are now uh, trying to upgrade to teach diplomas and bachelor degrees in theology so that we upgrade our uh, pastors and our preachers. And also we did the Christians uh, on the grassroots, we have prioritized discipleship training where we help every Christians to understand their faith so that they are strong and they are able to defend whatever comes in which is not uh, according to scripture. Thanks so much for coming to talk to us, uh, Archbishop Justin.